What's up, Tesco Squad? Every once in a while, I get on Amazon and it suggests something to me. And I'm like, what in my search history makes you think that I would want this? Uh, but then every once in a while, it suggests some pretty cool stuff. And I buy a lot of RC stuff from the old Jungle website, and it makes suggestions for me all mm, the freaking time. It does. Over and over and over and over again. Usually pretty terrible ones. Usually pretty terrible ones. So, I bought the five most suggested RC accessories that I see all the freaking time. And we're going to find out, is it actually worth your money, or is it just someone is just paying an exorbitant amount to... Add the probably crap out of me on Amazon. I get this advertised to me all the time. You know what that is? It's one of those like service stands. We have them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But this one has the stuff for like the shocks, you know, so you can service shocks on them. Oh, and that's not too bad. No, it's not too bad. I can't remember how much it was, but it was very affordable. And this one has a little parts tray in it. Uh, and a little scale, and it's got some doodles, and it looks like it's not complete. It came with a rolling tray. <laughs> yeah, it did. It's got like different size holes for like big bore shocks and like little stuff uh, there. But zero instructions. I sense this might be a theme with everything that oh, we have purchased More than today. likely. Uh, but I, I bought one from Duratrax years and years and years ago, before Tensco Garage was even a thing. And for working on 10 scale touring cars, it was pretty handy. I used it quite a bit, especially back in the early days when I didn't know what I was doing and I was like going through hubs and all kinds of stuff way faster than I should have. What do you mean? We still do that now. Yeah, that's very true. And we still break it out from time to oh, time. Yeah. Uh, we just used it. Yeah, we just used it on the Maserati build. Maserati. Maserati. I like that. But that's cool. It's adjustable. It looks like it's way taller than oh, yeah. the Duratrax one, which is good because anything bigger than like a 10 scale touring car, it's not super serviceable on that Duratrax one. And to get the job done, it is a lot taller. That will be a lot yeah. nicer to get stuff up off. Yeah, I like it better than the Duratrax one. Yeah, due yeah. to the height, it's, that's a big benefit. Yeah, for sure. All right, number two, I started seeing I started seeing this very recently, uh, and I was like, "That is so dumb," especially oh, because man. we have a three D printer, and the scale of this looks weird. Ah, ah. It is whoa the banana. This is from a company called DJ Crawler. Hmm. DJ Crawler, Ooh. turn it up, and it is a tenth scale kayak i see that it's so is it though it looks giant doesn't it it looks giant and slender yeah it's an odd i don't i don't i, I mean i don't I know don't enough know. about kayaks, kayaks to dispute are it kind of funky looking but hmm. well they're narrower than a canoe and we 3d printed a bunch of canoes uh and you could absolutely 3d print one of these but this is from the picture and just looking at it through the bag and the box, it looks a little detailed. You need your new fancy leather in there, bro. It came with a bunch of things That's that a lot I... a of screws in there. Itty bitty screws. Screws for what? So that's to like lace up a little cargo mat. Oh! Oh, this! It's a paddle! Oh, yeah, I bet ha! it is. Yeah. Oh, Dude, the TRX4 is ready for a rebuild, isn't it? Yeah, oh it was when God. it was new. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's an odd, it is an odd scale, isn't it? Looks like you could, I don't know, maybe that's about that's, right. Eh, maybe, maybe not, no, though. No, Look at the seat in here. Looking, though. I know. Look at the seat in there versus like what a seat in, a, uh -huh. in that would be. Maybe it's more it's for off. like a... All right, so TRX4, no, out. It's the Jimny? Skinny. Yeah, it actually kind of seems <laughs> super skinny. <laughs> it looks kind of cool on the Jimny. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of like that. Or, oh yeah, that's doing it for me. That's some. Um... I know. I tell you what. I know when we Kenny and I used to go kayaking. His kayaks were about as long as my minivan. Yeah. So I mean, it does seem more to the Jimny than anything. So here is our twelfth scale Mercedes G wagon. Oh yeah, that's it's better that's better 
It's but I still think it looks better on that one. On the Jimny? I do. Really, the Jimny and this are the same scale. Like a G-Wagon and a say, Jimny yeah. next to each other. That's about right. It's way more detailed and it looks better than like the 3D printed canoes oh, yeah. that we use. But the canoes, the and great thing about... We didn't have to precisely glue them together. <laughs> yes. But the good thing about 3D printing is you can scale it up or exactly. down to whatever you want. I mean, technically, you could 3D print a legit full-size canoe if you want. Oh, wanted. yeah, absolutely. Oh, or a kayak. One piece at a time, Johnny Cash style. Exactly. Um, so you can really dial in the scale, and we did that a couple of times. We made a couple different size mm -hmm. ones. That looks like me and your mom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so tiny little kayak. Uh, it's a weird scale. A tiny little kayak. You gotta have the right vehicle for it to look right. Yeah. It doesn't look right on like a 10th scale crawler. Mm -hmm. Would I buy that again? No. No. So what are we on now? Three? Number three? Number three. I have no idea what any of this stuff is, by the way. Shake it. Shake it. Shake, shake it. it and see if you can guess what it is. It's a Polaroid picture. Well, just, oh, just is it an just, electric screwdriver? It is not an electric screwdriver. You get an app for an electric screwdriver? Oh, a nut and bolt package. It's a hardware we'll kit. We'll use that. Holy goodness. We will use that. I mean, we have we have multiple. We have multiple Ooh. of these already that we made ourselves just by collecting and dismantling things and saving hardware. Uh, but this one, especially if you're just getting started, this is Ooh. super valuable yeah. to have. And look, dude, I mean, they're all nice. organized, unlike ours, which are not organized Well, they at were all. at one point. Ooh, that's a lot of machining oil. Holy mm. Oh, yes. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh, she is, uh, right. she is moist. It even comes with tools. Look at that. I mean, I don't even know if these are. Oh, these are drive pins and drive pin and, donuts. Yeah. That's rad. Because uh, we go through those quite a bit, and we are getting somewhat low. Washers, especially. Washers are crucial. Mm -hmm. Tons and tons mm -hmm. of body clips, wheel nuts, uh, more body clips. We got various different machine screws. We've got coarse thread. We've got fine thread. It looks like everything here is Allen head as well. No Phillips hardware, which is good. I can't remember how much this was. I think it was around $20. But just looking at actually like uh, how yeah, much is in there, I mean, you'll spend you can sp you can spend six, seven, eight bucks just to get yourself two, two, four pins and yes. a couple nuts to hold stuff on. Like yeah. that stuff adds up very quickly. We will absolutely. Use oh this. yeah, we're gonna put it right down here. Yep. With the hardware box. Heck yeah. I get advertisements for this all oh, the time. Man. And to be honest, I've bought a couple of them in the past. Oh yeah. <laughs> LED lights. <laughs> you gotta have LED lights. Uh, well, I think this is actually for like fixed wing aircraft. Like it's Ooh. meant to go in the wings. Dang. But, and I mean, they're really long. And for, I mean, you can get like lights that mm -hmm. are for 10 scale cars that are twice as priced that are half the size. Uh, so these ones for like fixed wing. Uh, it comes with this little adapter doodle right here to split one channel into two, um, which these are super valuable mm -hmm. to have. Yeah. Uh, and it, it comes with one. So Perfect. this is literally everything you need to do something pretty awesome. What car should we put this on, do you think? Or truck? Ah. I'm no longer in the video. This is my Red Cat Clawback. This is a fifth scale crawler. This thing next to a T-Max, not a T-Max, this thing next to an X-Max makes an X-Max look like a little bit. Boom. Okay, so, yeah, I wonder what color they are. But we should have a channel free. Maybe. Yep, you got it. And the receiver's in the back, dude. You freaking nailed it. Oh, yeah. You freaking, I can't see. I know. Oh, wow, yep, they're on, okay. <laughs> What color are they? Blue. Okay. Dark gray for you. <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. They're like blue, purple, blue. Oh, yeah. Can you give it some of uh, this? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. That's hot boy as heck. Woo. I can see it through the Lexan. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. We should uh, convert uh, this to dual brushless setups, huh? Oh, yeah. And it for would sure. just rip those transmissions apart that you can't get parts for anymore. Mm -hmm. let's, oh yeah. Let's do that. That's what we like to do. 
Dang, dude, those are bright. I know. <laughs> not blinded me when he first plugged them in. But yeah, for like just a few bucks, uh, I absolutely recommend. Mm -hmm. I absolutely recommend it. It's a quick, easy project, and it will transform the way. There's a couple on your side too, I think. It will absolutely transform the way your rig looks. And you can get light controllers. So if you have a spare channel on your uh, transmitter, you can you know turn them on and off from the transmitter mm -hmm. itself. Uh, but you do need that extra little bit, that yep. extra little light controller. But those are super cheap too, so. So the fifth and final one, I also get advertised a bunch. <laughs> go ahead and go ahead and open that bad boy right there. What do you think? Any Ooh. guesses? I feel like it's a servo. It is not a servo. No? Nope. It is a sound kit, which we actually- Oh no, I thought, okay, dang. What do you think it was? I thought it was just another dual RC. Motor ESC. Oh, no, but I do get ads for those yeah. quite a bit. Dang, no, I have not seen this. Well, I got this for you, buddy. Uh-oh. We uh, we have we have installed one of these in the past, and we were actually pretty impressed with it. Uh, but that this one was dirt cheap. These things are crazy dirt cheap. So what's cheap. it do? Does it play music or does it play? No, it plays, oh, it plays it, car sounds. Yeah, it gotcha. intercepts. It intercepts your ESC signal, and uh, yeah, it plays car noises. At least that's what it says in the ad. It weigh these speakers weigh nothing. Yeah, more I mean, than this. Yeah, the control box weighs nothing. It's got a dial and a button on it. Ooh, that's uh, for more or less skippity bap. Yeah, I think we need to put maximum skippity bap. Oh, that could possibly be... There we go! Oh, God, that scared the s*** out of me. <laughs> okay, that's value for sure. All right, are we ready? Oh! There's different sounds. Big block right there. That's a Jetsons car. That's a diesel right there. It is kind of annoying, but maybe it'll sound oh, better when it's like underneath a body panel. You know, very well I mean? could. But I think this was cheap. I we think should, it was like nineteen should, bucks or something. Well, we should install it on your razor bike. Oh <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah, I. It's like one of those things. Yeah, that one takes up quite a bit of room. The one that we got before was actually that was bigger. Three times the price. Yeah, but it's just one box. Yeah, but that box is like the size of now, some JBL speakers. The, spot, the box is like this. It's I thought it was like a that. little bit bigger than that. No, it's not that big. Uh, so what do we think of the sound kit? That's, I mean, yeah, it's not bad for as cheap I as would it was. Use, I would use one. Yeah? Mm-hmm. We'll find, we'll find something to use this for with. For sure. Yeah. For sure. I'm not against the old, to me, a semi. Like mm -hmm. I'm, I'm leaning more heavily against towards that than anything. Anyway, what kind of ridiculous things does Amazon suggest for you? And 
Did it ever suggest anything that was actually cool? Let me know down below. And if this is your first time checking out the channel, welcome. I'm glad you found it. Go and check out some of our other videos. Mm -hmm. See what kind of see what kind of stallions we got in the stable that you would like to see us uh, at a sound kit. And these things are cheap, honestly. We could buy, yeah, yeah. We could buy we some could more of them. Do some of them. Uh, yeah, let me, know, let me know down below. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you again really I guess really if you soon. get enough of these, you could wire in as many speakers as you want, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Boom. I see where you're going with this. First tenth scale audio van. <laughs> Chopping scar audio out here.